Welcome back to the Headphonia YouTube channel for a new video, a new first look. And this time we'll be looking at the brand new KN N5 Mark II, which is the successor of the original N5, which was released back in July 2015 already. So for KN, it was about time to upgrade this model. And we just received a box with a beta version of this N5 Mark II together with uh, a leather pouch and an extra screensaver. Um, the box itself looks pretty basic, so on the front you can see how it looks. Um, I'll spoil this to you, it looks really great already because I've seen it in, in the pictures. Um, what can I say? Well, this new version is actually 14% smaller and 23% lighter than the original one. Like before, it comes with two micro SD slots and a 2.5 millimeter balanced connection. Uh, it is like the, the latest KN player, it has the USB C output. And this new Mark II uses the ESS 9018 K2M file, so I'm looking forward to hearing that one. Next to that, it has about 32, 32 sorry, gigabytes of internal storage and with the two extra cards up to 256, so that gives you over, I don't know, like 544 gigabytes of storage room. And on top of that, you can even hook up a, a two terabyte SSD over the um, USB output. So that makes it a player with a lot of data memory. Um, the box itself, well, it's pretty basic, as you can see, with a nice cane logo. And then on the back you have some of the specs, which I was just telling you about. So let's get this out of the box and open up, and we'll continue the video. Alright, so it's a pretty basic box, uh, which opens on the right with this magnetic flap. And then if you open it up, the first thing you see is actually not that much. You, first of all, have this one here. And it's got uh, it's a plastic cover for the N5 Mark II. Um, I can tell you already that I pretty much prefer the leather case, which I showed you in the front of the video. We might look at that later again. But this plastic one is pretty average. Below that are some extra high-res audio stickers, some people like those. And then on top you have just one standard USB to USB-C cable. Let's put that here on the side. So that means that the player must be behind this box and that's exactly where it is. Before I take it out, on the left of the box you've got this Fold with inside is a paper manual uh, for the N5 Mark II and it is in Chinese and English. It doesn't say that much, but some people, people like reading it, so there it is. Okay, let's get this out. Put the box at the side. So there you have it. This is the new KN. N5 Mark II. Um, I personally think it looks beautiful and it reminds me a bit of um, the Astellan Kern uh, AK120, the latest version. I don't have it with me now, but um, it does remind me a bit, especially with the, with the volume wheel. Um, if you compare this to the original one, you can see there's a huge difference and it has been completely redesigned. Um, it's smaller, lighter, and basically the design is just a lot better. Um, the original one had the carbon design. This one more or less has more plastic glass kind design. Um, it does have a cover on the back, of course. Then on the side you have the two ports for the micro SD. And you have the play, reverse and the, the, the pause buttons. On the other side, there's the power button. On top, you have the 2.5 balanced and the 3.5 millimeter headphone output. Um, and on the bottom, as said, there's a USB-C port. So let's get a micro SD card in this, and then we'll see how it plays. 
Alright, so before I turn on the player, I first of all want to show you the leather case that Kayan sent me as an extra. It's got the Kayan label on it. It's a black leather one, it's very firm for that matter. And on the back it's got the, uh, the red stitching. Lots of brands are using this uh, color combination for the moment, but I have to say I really like it, so I'm glad to see that uh, Kayan did it as well. Um, of course, if you haven't bought or haven't received your leather case yet, I still strongly suggest using uh, the rubber one that comes included with your N5 Mark II. Um, it's not the prettiest, but this is a gorgeous looking player and you really don't want it to um, get any scratches on it uh, just when you get it. So uh, just use it, order the leather one and then you're all set. Okay, let's have a look what happens when we boot up the player. Alright, so let's boot up the player. Just pushing the button on the left side, then you have got this mini LED that turns on. I suppose that there you go. There's the KN logo. And again another KN logo. Quickly followed by the never be the same again. Catchphrase phrase they always use, sorry. If you have been playing with the uh, KN i5 uh, portable player, then this will look very familiar. This is the main screen where you get an overview of uh, the available uh, music, internal memory, uh, the TF cards and the external one. Um, to go over the menus quickly on top you have the... there you go, you have the music. You've got a list menu, which is still empty of course, and you've got your private cloud hooking up to your uh, local area network or your uh, Dropbox. Inside the music one, which is the most important one for me, you have the folder, so that's this one. The album, which you can see I uploaded a Dells 25 album. You've got the artist, the genre and the tracks in total so as you can see it shows the high quality mark if you go into the folder mode you can navigate to the cards as well like this and you just select what you want to hear that's another way to get to the music when you click a file it starts playing you just push the little picture in the bottom left and then you will go to the main screen where we see the pretty at all to go back to the main menu, you just press the invisible button, you can do it several times, or you can just use the button on top. Then what else do we have? So this is Android, so it will scroll, as you can see, and you have all the, the settings that you're used to from your Android. Um, you can switch to the music like that directly, or you can go to the settings menu by swiping to the right. In the settings menu itself, as you can see, you have the music scan, which I already did. You have the settings, the equalizer. You can also install third-party applications, which is awesome. I myself use it to um, install uh, Lost FM to scrabble all my tracks. Then there's a smart cleaning menu, download pod, download manager, sleep time, schedule power off, and the about. So this player arrived here like this with the first, I suppose, the first firmware. It's got 75% battery, 74 now, so that's pretty nice of Kayan. And that's about it. I haven't listened to it yet, so I very much look forward to, uh, to listening to it. Um, last time with the original N5, the 2.5 millimeter output was a bit noisy, so I look forward to hearing if that has been uh, improved. Let's just uh, power it off for a moment. It, anyway, it looks great. The volume button is so nice. It's got a perfect uh, build quality. Again, if you compare it to the original one, it's such a big difference. This is so old school. This is something new design. Um, it just looks much more slick and beautiful. Um, Dear N3, it's the, the small brother. I still like uh, the looks of that one as well. 
and the, the sound quality, quality is just amazing for the price and then of course you have the top of the range okay the screen is a bit uh, scratched already top of the range player the i5 that is an awesome player and I do think that the new N5 II will come close to this but we'll just have to start uh, listening and find out um, the review will be up as soon as we can so give us some time and keep checking Headphonia. Don't forget to subscribe everyone. Thanks for watching.